As time goes on, the legends of the past often get left there in the past when it comes to some of the modern discussion of great players. And unless you're a fan of some of these teams that these underrated legends have played for, their names don't really get brought up in the grand scheme of things. Well, let's change that. Join me as we uncover some of the past's greatest legends that time has forgotten. John Hanna, otherwise known as Hogg, was born in Canton, Georgia and played his college football years at the University of Alabama under Paul Bryant. Hanna did more than just play football while at Alabama, where he was also a wrestler, a shot put thrower, and discus thrower. During his tenure at Alabama, he would earn All-American honors twice, helped him win the SEC in both 71 and 72, named to the All-Century team and the 1970s All-Decade team for Alabama. And Hanna would enter the 1973 draft as a high-end prospect with the New England Patriots selecting him at fourth overall. Hanna measured in at 6'2", 265, which by NFL standards for an offensive lineman is considered undersized. But where he lacked in that size, he made up for in his speed and quickness, which made him a great pulling guard for the Patriots. He committed himself to the game and expected the same from his teammates, even to the point where he would get angry when they weren't showing a similar commitment level. Hanna anchored the left side of that offensive line alongside tackle Larry Gray and tight end Russ Francis, and he would be a staple of the 1978 Patriots O-line that set the at-the-time record for 3,165 rushing yards, thanks to four different 500-yard rushers, including quarterback Steve Gordon. That offensive line also allowed for the record of 181 rushing first downs, which is a record that still holds today. Hanna gained the respect of his, of his peers, including former Dolphins of offensive lineman Bob Kuchenberg, who said in regards to Hanna in an interview in, the, in 1984, In 83 and 82, he certainly became, I think, the best guard in the league, and he's been getting, of course, that acclaim for several years now. Hanna's play truly started to get recognition around his fourth year in the league, where he would be elected to his first of nine straight Pro Bowls and the first of seven All-Pro first-team selections. His 1979 season saw him get an Offensive Player of the Year votes, which ended up with him being 7th overall in Bowdoin. This marks only one of two occasions where an offensive lineman was getting votes for Offensive Player of the Year, with the second time being in 1981 where Anthony Munoz got votes. The selection to the All-70s and All-80s All-Decade teams is what capped off his career when it comes to playing wise accolades. Hannah would retire after the Patriots Super Bowl 20 loss to Chicago, but he kept getting recognition from there. Six years later, he would be elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1991 alongside Earl Campbell, Ken Stabler, Al Davis, and Lynn Swain. In 1990, the Patriots would retire his number of 73. He would find spots on the NFL's 75th and 100th anniversary teams, alongside of a bunch of other Patriot all-time teams. Due to have played the offensive line, the name of John Hanna often gets forgotten, especially by younger players who more so mention the likes of Anthony Munoz and Joe Thomas. However, he was still a legend of the game, and he's remembered fondly amongst Patriot faithful, and he deserves to be talked about a hell of a lot more. I hope you enjoyed this, quick, this quicker video. I'll see you all in the next one, and have yourselves a damn good one.